equation number 2b when a 0.1625 gram of magnesium is burned in a bomb calorimeter with a heat capacity of 3.03 kJ per degree Celsius, the temperature increases by 1.252 degrees Celsius. So how much heat in kJ per mole is liberated during the burning of magnesium? So from here you can use the formula Q is equivalent to C delta T where the T is your temperature, the change of temperature. So given to you the C is 3.03 and the delta T because the temperature increases by. So you don't have to calculate your delta T yourself, you just have to plug in this value. So what you can do is plug in all those values. So Zero three times uh, one point two five two, so you should get three point seven nine three six kilo joule. So this is your Q, but this Q is actually for the mass, which is zero point six two five gram. So the question. So we should know this much magnesium is how many mole? So you need to calculate the number of moles. So number of mole is equivalent to mass over R and M. So you know from the question the mass is equivalent to 0 0.1625 and the R and M for magnesium. So you should refer to this um, Table. You should look at the atomic mass instead of the atomic number. So magnesium is way down here. So you can see that the magnesium, the atomic mass is equivalent to 24.305. Please make sure that you don't take 54 instead because this is manganese, it's not magnesium, so be careful when you check on this um, list. So you should divide it with 24.305. You should get the number of mole is equivalent to 6.6859 times 10 to the power of negative 3. So from here you should uh, be able to do the um, changes where you need to say that if you have this much more, if you have this much more, so 6.6859 times 10 to the power of negative 3, so the energy or the um, heat liberated is actually 3.7936 kilojoule but in the question it states that you will also calculate how much heat in kilojoule per mole means that you just want the heat for one mole so you should do this one mole so what is it so you should 3.7936 divided by this one, 6.6859 times 10 to the power of negative 3, so you should get 567.4030 kilojoules per mole. So this is your final answer for this question. Okay, now moving on to question number 3a. Briefly explain and illustrate the function of catalyst in modifying the rate of chemical reactions. So, you need to um, explain what will the catalyst do. So, um, the main objective of putting a catalyst in any reaction is to speed up the chemical reaction. And this catalyst will not be consumed in the reaction. It means that the addition of the catalyst inside this reaction will not do um, or will not add any um, intermediates or it will not add any ex um, external um, subproduct. So, and then the, the catalyst will increase the reaction rate by lowering the activation energy for the reaction. So this activation energy is the thing that you need to 
um, illustrate so when you want to illustrate the activation energy the first thing that you need to get it right is the axis so when you write or when you draw any um, graph the axis is really really important so you need to have over here should be time and over here should be potential energy okay so potential energy versus time so you will have to curve so actually this will be your product your reactant so and from here to here is your activation energy so what happened when you add catalyst so when you add catalyst it will give you a lower activation energy means that your activation energy will go around here and you will produce the product at the same potential energy so means that the activation energy now is it's just here as compared to the first one so this is your activation energy with the catalyst so this one without catalyst this one with catalyst so if you can draw this if you can illustrate this so the mark will be given if you have um, correct axis so one point here and the correct curve for each is one point each so this illustration will give you altogether three marks okay uh, moving on to your last question question 3b the decomposition of dimethyl ether at 504 degrees Celsius is a first order reaction with a half life of 1570 seconds. Determine the concentration of dimethyl ether after 4710 seconds of decomposition. So, um, the important uh, information given to you in this question is that this is a first order reaction so you need to make sure that you use the formula for the first order reaction so the half-life for first order reaction the half half-life is equivalent to ln 2 divided by k so since you already know your half-life 1570 which is uh, mentioned in the question the half life is 1570 seconds so you should be able to calculate the uh, rate constant the k so on 2 divided by k so you should get your k is equivalent to just bring down here so you get k equivalent to 4.4149 times 10 to the power of negative 4 so this is the value of k and max given to you in the question is that determine the concentration after 4710 second of decomposition so you need to always remember that um, in any chemical equation or any chemical reaction the initial concentration we will consider that as 100% so since that this is a first order reaction you need to use the first order reaction formula ln a t is equivalent to negative k t plus ln a note so as i just mentioned before the initial concentration for this one should be 100 percent so 100 percent means that 100 divided by 100 equivalent to 1 so the value of k here is given to uh given to you in the question uh, by calculating the half life so from this half life so you get uh, the value of k and then the time the question states is 4710 
so the time is giving me the question as well so it's rather straightforward so negative four point this here 4.4149 times 10 to the power of negative 4 the time is 4710 plus non 1 so non 1 is equivalent to 0 so if you get this correct if you get the calculation correct you should get this one should be equivalent to negative 2.0794 so, um, bear in mind that we do not want the value of ln e t. We want the value of e t. So, e t is equivalent to four. So, you should get your e t equivalent to zero point one two five zero. Right. So, um, I've already marked your test, um, average, most of you did quite well, congratulations. So, we are going to move forward to the next two chapters. So, I wish you all the best and we hope that um, all of us can learn better and make sure that you are well prepared for your upcoming final examination so we're going to do some revision on that as well so for now thank you very much for watching and i hope if you have any question or any inquiries that you need me to explain more please uh, put your comments below and i will try to help so thank you very much assalamualaikum